What is up, everyone? Happy Tuesday, October 24th. Seven more calendar days in October. And we've got some green coming in today. Got some tech earnings after the bell. Be interesting to, uh, I kind of feel like the market's going to go whichever way these tech earnings go for the uh, near future. Google and Microsoft report earnings after the bell. So that's two big ones. Also have Snapchat after the bell. Also have Visa after the bell and Texas Instruments after the bell. So busy week of earnings. We'll see how they affect the market. Yesterday was a pretty slow day. It was we can get many signals and wasn't a lot of opportunity. Hopefully we can get some more opportunity today. Tuesday is one of my favorite days to trade. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we trade the three days to expiration option chain. Dow up 158, NASDAQ futures up 63, and S&P futures up 20. And this uh, little bounce here has definitely helped out of some of my iron ducks that I have on. There goes the bell, so we will, we're off and running. S&P opens up about up half a percent, NASDAQ up half a percent, Dow up about half a percent. So trading the Mighty 90 strategy, continuation runner and volume runner. If you're new, you can find those courses in the day trading course channels. Tesla up a little under 2%. DKNG up a little over 3%. Roblox up two and a third. Square up two and a third. Riot Blockchain up 10%. Coinbase up 7%. Coinbase is coming down, but... Morning, Bumblebee. Morning, Rookie Trader. Stock's pushing down here.
things coming down a little bit here. At least some stocks are, but indices pushing up. S&P up 25, NASDAQ up 72. So we got some stocks pushing up, some pushing down. Our second bar here now. I got a mixture of red bars and green bars. Looking for some big volume here. Square pushing up, Roblox pushing up, potential upside volume runners. I'm pushing up. So Roblox definitely going to get there. Square definitely going to get there.
So we'll look for a pullback in those two. Try to wait a little bit towards the end here, end of this five minute bar. Again, we trade three DTE today. Zoom close to getting there as well. Square pulling back a little bit. Look at square here. Again, three DTE. Forty five calls in square. So to the buck thirty four on the forty five calls. So I just jumped in there as we were in our last minute, actually, last thirty seconds. No, no pullback in Roblox at all yet. So I would close half my square at a buck fifty. So I'll go ahead and put that in. Roku was close, didn't quite get there. Zoom did get there. No pullback yet. Filled at a buck fifty. Close half my square. Let's quick push up. Look for some mighty nineties here now. Oh yeah, square blasted right through that pivot. No pullback from Roblox. I would close another square at Buck Roblox coming down a little bit. Thing about Roblox is sometimes it gets these. I've noticed a trend where it gets these big bars in both directions. So when Square pulled back, that's why I jumped in on it. But Roblox Cake is going to get another big bar.
So things kind of taking a pause here. DKNG coming back down. Nvidia coming down. May get a little bit of a mighty 90 here. Check it and toss. Yeah, it's getting a little bit of a mighty 90. NVIDIA, but I ah, just flip green. It's kind of flipping back and forth, so just keep an eye on it. Yeah, big bar in Roblox. S&P coming down now a little bit. It's back. Up, it's up 24, pulling back. Roblox coming down a little bit. NVIDIA coming down a little bit. Watch a little mighty 90 in NVIDIA here. Four thirty calls. Well it's seven twenty-five. It was coming down to this pivot, and you could definitely get a better fill than I got. Yeah, I thought I got a decent fill, but definitely position size to add. Square coming down. Roblox pulling back. Roblox, I'm going to jump in there. 31 calls in Roblox. Build at a dollar twenty in Roblox. Thirty one calls. Video coming down here. Maybe rushed Nvidia a little bit. It comes down to like six fifty. I'll add to it. Yeah, see, it's popping back up. Dang, hopefully you guys got a much better fill than I did. Because it's popped up now. I would close half my NVIDIA at eight dollars. But probably could have got probably could have got filled on half by now if you got a better fill than I did. Close half my uh, Roblox at a dollar thirty five. Meta coming down. Square coming down. If it comes down past here, I'll get out. So looking for two green bars out of NVIDIA. Try to get out of half my Roblox here. Build it at $1.33. Close half my Roblox. Wow, 
Microsoft coming down. And Boeing pushing up. Roblox getting another big bar. It's a pretty good price movement here today. Need square to fire back up. Baba might be getting a little mighty 90 short. Where it did pop back up. I would close another row, close a quarter of my Roblox at a dollar forty five. Just put that in. So NVIDIA coming down now. I thought it was going to pop up, but it did not. At least not yet. I'm looking for two green bars out of it. I really wish I would have got a better fill. And Uber with some big red volume bars. So some tech coming down, Apple. Uh, Airbnb would be downside volume runner with the big red bar, but it's opposite this one, and this one was green too, so I wouldn't wouldn't play that one. Build it eight dollars, close half my Nvidia. Wow. Oh yeah, nice pop up in Nvidia. Should have been able to add to that. Where has not pushed back up through that pivot yet? Baba staying strong, Baidu staying strong. Need square to take off here. <clears throat> hey, pal. Looks like it might get a big green bar. Pretty tight range, though. Roblox trying to move for us, filled at a dollar forty-five. Close quarter of Roblox. Square trying to push back up. Get out of another NVIDIA at uh, let's just let's wait and see what this does. See if it rips up one more time. Waiting for two green bars, so I've got two contracts left. Yep, 
get out of another uh, get out of a quarter of my square at um buck 63 let's see got some got, got some pretty good signals there on with the volume uh at the start but not seeing any, any right now any new ones mu it's interesting big red bar coming down Need square to push through highs of day. Pretty pretty flat volume out of some of these right now. Baba though pushing up. Zoom kind of setting up to be what's well, upside continuation runner. It's got this push up and now it's just kind of consolidating. Uh, pretty tight range though. I don't really like it when they're tight range like that. Uh, NVIDIA was a mighty 90. Mighty 90 long. A screenshot of this. So take a look right here. Mighty 90. Uh, this bar was bigger than the previous, plus it had pushed down to a pivot. So I got long about right there. You could have gotten long with much better fill right here, down here. It's coming down to a pivot, bar bigger than the previous one. Good spot to enter. So now we're looking for two green bars. Consecutive. Need NVIDIA to push up here and then close it out. All right, so uh, NVIDIA is pushing up, giving us probably going to give us a second green bar. So I'm going to get out of I'm gonna get out of another. I have two left. I'm going to get out of one right here. Build at 920. 
to get out a quarter of Nvidia. And I might let the sell one run, see if it see if it wants to run. Because if because if it runs, you know, sometimes if it if it's a strong market, I'll I'll, I'll leave it open. Get out of another Roblox here. Filled at a dollar fifty eight. Close a quarter of Roblox. Ah, square came down. I was going to try to. I was almost almost got out of another square, but. It, just push down on me. Airbnb. Yeah, so it's it's got a big red bar and a big green bar. So those would be volume runner signals, but because they're red and green, I'm just, I'm, not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play any of those. So I got one NVIDIA left here. So I was going to see if it continues to push. Normally, I would close it, close out this Mighty 90 with these two green bars. But since I got one contract on, it's a long and it's a, a, a strong market. NASDAQ is up 119. Uh, I'm leaving one open just to see if we can continue upward a little bit. Man, I... Thought I was gonna get out of another square on this push up there, but it didn't quite hit me. I had my uh order in at a dollar sixty-five. See anything else shaking right now? My square had a little mighty ninety. I'm just noticing short. So maybe I should have just closed her out there. Ah, video coming back down. See, I'd have been better off probably closing it out. But as long as it holds right here, I'll, I'll keep, I'm just going to see if it'll run up. If it goes down below right here, I'll close it. Got a little greedy here on NVIDIA. Still up pretty big in it. Again, you know, holding on to a mighty 90 when you, when you, after you've gotten your two consecutive bars that you want. I only do that really if it's, if I'm, if I'm, my position is in this, the direction of that the, the market is. So the market is strong. I'm long. If I was short, or if, if the market was weak and I was long, then I would have closed, I definitely would have closed them out. Man, Roblox just a bunch of big green bars. VIX is down three and a third percent. Uh, yeah, I mean that's definitely definitely would would be a mighty ninety for sure. I'm not going to get short though. It's already coming down a little bit. Maybe if it gives another push up. All right, I'm gonna close my Nvidia. Build at 820. It's 
to close this video. So good trade there. I gave uh, about 100 bucks back by trying to be greedy. Didn't work out for me. And and, and it, it may after that when this bar closes, rip back up. Who knows? But, you know, I, I only, you know, I held that one contract because I, I wanted it to, like, push immediately. Pulls another quarter of my Roblox. At a buck seventy. Yeah, so Tesla, it's potential for my ninety short. The only thing is, is it's just really strong. Filled it a buck seventy, Roblox. I don't trade Roblox as much as I used to. And I'm kind of hesitant to get short right now. I mean, at some point, though, I would think it's going to pull back. So Roblox is coming up to this pivot. If it if it can't get through this pivot, I'll close it out. I mean, yes, I mean, it's not going to keep going up, up and up and up all day. So here it's I'm, I'm, I'm suspecting there's going to be a pullback at some point. Hey, it's Baba and Baidu. Wow. Close another uh, Roblox at a dollar eighty two. And sometimes when it's strong like this and you get a short signal, you just kind of you, you kind of pass on them because. It's in takeoff mode. Yeah, I mean, it could... Sometimes you just don't want to get in the way of it. <clears throat> Tesla's one of those that can just rip at any time. Filled at a buck eighty two in Roblox. Wow. It's kind of volume runner you like right there, Roblox. Close another Roblox at Buck ninety five. Build it a buck sixty five to close a quarter of square and filled it a buck ninety five to close another Roblox. And I just got filled on my zero DTE iron condor at 20% profit. Of course, that's paper trading. But still. Anybody still in Roblox? Yeah. 
Hey, why not? We have five Roblox left. Nice. Okay. So you just scaled out already? Yeah. Um, I went in with 20 contracts because I got filled at a dollar twenty. So that put me right about my medium. Twenty four hundred dollars of buying power. See, now Tesla gets a bar about as big as the first. And so that's why I'm glad I didn't go in that mighty 90. I just let it, it's just too strong. NVIDIA really hasn't moved. So, so, so take a look at this mighty 90 in NVIDIA. Okay. So it got two green bars, which is why I was looking, and it would have benefited me the most just to follow the rules and just get out. Of everything right after that second green bar, right? I was greedy. And it cost me about a hundred bucks. You know, Tesla used to do this all the time. Like when we first started day trading, it would just, man, you know, this is probably like, oh, 2019, 2020, before, before COVID, where it would just, rip and just it was just on a mission you just rarely did you ever get short okay so square coming down i don't want it to come down through that pivot darn it so that's what i was saying like it's going to come down at some point it's not just going to keep ripping up forever so when you got these nice profits you kind of got to decide do i want to be greedy and Try to get more out of this, or do I just want to close and take my profits? So for Square, if it pushes through this pivot, I'm going to bail on it. If it stays above the pivot, I'll just keep it, keep keep scaling out since it's a volume runner. Roku, big volume bar to the upside. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at getting long Roku here. Yeah, to me, this is a low risk trade. Sixty two calls in Roku. Try to get filled at a buck ninety five. Filled at a buck ninety five in Roku. Probably could have got a better fill. That's on the 62 calls. And so if Roku comes down below right here, I would just bail on it for a small losing trade. All right, I need to enter in a new... Exit for my zero DTE. Okay, so Square and Roblox are holding. That's good. See, look at NVIDIA. <laughs> Man, just follow the rules, Chad. Just follow the rules. I have an extra 100 bucks.
NVIDIA's volume was really flat, though, other than that little volume pop here, that Mighty 90 I got in. It's been it's pretty flat volume. I would close half of my Roku at 215. So I'm just going to put that in just in case it rips. So some of these then, you know, it's a strong market. So there's a potential now for some upside continuation runners. Like maybe you get Tesla that's just is pausing here and then rips. Um, you know, Roku was a volume runner, but could also be setting up for a continuation runner. You know, it's pausing right now. Is it going to rip again or is it completely done? Same thing with Square. See how Square is like really kind of been on a pause. Get out of another Roblox at 207. Let's go 208. Make it an even number. Yay, trying to push through highs. NVIDIA coming down to lows of day. Wow. Well, Boeing is trying to go through highs of day, DKNG through highs of day. Roku coming down. I don't want to see it come down past right here. Can definitely get a better fill than I did, though. I really like that big green bar, that it, big volume bar, bigger than the first that it produced. It's coming down right to my exit. How much time we got left? A minute and a half. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hold it there, hoping that it hoping that it holds. I could actually. It's pretty tight range, so I'm I'm not losing too much right now. It's sitting at about a buck eighty five, which is about ten cents below where I. Got in. But Square and Roblox are holding, which is good. Let's see what this pullback is or anything else. Not seeing any mighty 90 longs with this pullback. I can always add to Roku as well. 
comes down a little more. Add to Roku. A little bit of buck eighty to add. Now, if this goes south, I'm gonna give it a minute. If it starts going south real quick, I'm just gonna bail on it. So, with it being a strong market, I was wanting it to to bounce back up here. And I would close half at two bucks. I got a feeling it's going to come down to this yesterday's high and then bounce, which means it'll flush me out probably. So this is really where experience with price movement really can benefit you. Dow up 232, NASDAQ up 88, and S&P up 25. Apple seeing a little bounce. Roblox pausing. Square is still kind of in pause mode. I thought it was going to get through highs there. But price movement's definitely slowed down the last 15, 20 minutes for sure. Look at Apple bouncing back. Yeah, so Ro yeah, Roblox definitely start definitely consolidating. It wouldn't surprise me to see it push through highs. Man, look at Apple push back up. It's not a very it's a pretty tight range, so it's still. I'm gonna go ahead and close half my Roku at a buck ninety-five. I'm gonna lower it a little bit just to make sure I get out of half here. Filled at a buck ninety-five. I'm sure I could have left it at two bucks, but.
Built at 208 to close a quarter of Roblox. Yeah, Baidu and Baba could be consolidating too. Got four Roblox left. So I gotta make a decision here. Do I just man, do I just uh keep scaling out of Roblox or do I just close my final four and take this good profit? Because it's like at some point, you know, it's probably gonna just flatline. It's getting close to 930 central when price really slows down. Okay, so Roku, this is why I wanted to get out of half. It had pushed up to this pivot, and you know, you never know if it's going to get through a pivot or not. I'd like to see it move through this pivot on this next one. If it doesn't move through the pivot here, I may just scratch this volume runner. I mean, I suppose Roblox, until it really starts putting in some red bars, I just keep scaling out. I mean, it really hasn't pulled back much at all. I mean, it's a tight range, but it's not really pulling back. I'll close another at two twenty, two dollars and twenty cents. Come on, Roku, push up. You gave you gave us a big green bar. And now you're just not wanting to push, huh? If Roku breaks below this point here, I'll uh where that green bar is, I'll, I'll close it. Yeah, Tesla hasn't moved much either. Could be, could be, you could get long like right here where it's at now. And if it pushed through that, I, I would wait towards the end of this bar to see where it's at. But if it pushes through it, then you just bail on it for a small loss. When Tesla had really bad earnings and it dropped a lot, I put on a short put vertical and it's currently up a thousand sixty five bucks. No, it's up almost it's up twelve hundred and thirty bucks. Just a short put vertical capturing at that uh it had that drop in its earnings. I mean it usually comes back. Tesla does. It's a strong company. After the ver after like like the day after the announcement to where it was um when it, it it like towards the end of the day after the day after where it had come down that day so much just a simple short put vertical Build at 220 to get out of another Roblox. Yeah, because you know, I, I've just seen I've just seen Tesla's earnings. Like whenever it has bad earnings, like it's it, it eventually comes back. So 
I mean, it really dropped after earnings and then it continued to drop that day after earnings. And so I probably need to get out of half my position for that short put vertical. And then you got Theta Decay working working with you or helping you out, you know, as each day passes. Um, I think I put it on with like, uh, let me see. I want to say there was like a 21 DTE is what I did. Yeah, it's been about a week. Yeah, I, did, I did like the 21 DTE. Roku? Come, oh, man, it got above the pivot. back up there I got three roadblocks left <laughs> it's been a while since I've been able to scale out like I'm doing in Roblox darn it Roku come on I thought I was going to take off So I mean, this is a volume run. I, I want it to push through highs of day, but like I said earlier, it it's not going to just continue to go up, up and up. I mean, maybe Roblox is. I don't know. Don't think I'm going to get in anything else. It is 9.30 Central, so... Usually by 9.30, I don't have three positions still on. I'm guessing with tech earnings after the bell today, there's going to start to be just lots of chop happening. Yeah, I've got nine squares left. Oh, I need to get out of some. What am I doing? Oh. oh, wait, no, no. It's about where I got on my last one. So I'm experiencing some theta decay definitely in square. Because right now it's I got I got my last one, I, I got out of the dollar sixty-five, and that's about where it's sitting right now. And that's been like 20 minutes ago. So definitely experiencing some theta decay there. Get out of another Roblox at 2.32. But you can see some of these stocks have fallen asleep. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here, but I'm just going to I'm going to keep scaling out. If there's any any type of pullback, I'll just bail on these because I've got a nice green day. Um, otherwise, Roku, if it breaks down below here, I'll get out. Otherwise, I'll just scale out of it. Square, if it comes back, I mean, any pullback at all with Roblox and Square, like down to this pivot. If it breaks below this pivot, I'll get out of it. 
Roblox, if it comes down through these pivots, I'll get out of it. So that's it. You guys uh, got Steve tomorrow, zero DTE. So I will see, and, and Thursday. So I'll see you back Friday. Catch you later. Nice rookie trader. Good job. See y'all later. Peace.